I I feel like I don't know why, but I feel like I haven't vlogged in two weeks. But it's been a few days. It's Wednesday, the last day of May, which I just now realized. Basically, I just came back from my grandma. I visited my grandma in Bosnia for the past few days. I didn't vlog there. I was really just trying to enjoy my time with her. It was really nice. I like it there. It's very different than here. By the way, someone is mowing their lawn right now, so I hope you can't hear that. But yeah, basically, I was in Bosnia. I had a really good time. It's good to get out of everything, just for a moment, out of the routine and out of your reality. And it was so good. I, I was away for three days, I think. I'm just getting ready to develop some film. I have some here. And it would be nice to find some new ones. That was this one I like. That's my last role. So it would be nice to find new film, but that's a, that's kind of an adventure to, to, to find. It's really hard lately. It's been hard for the past few years at this point. Didn't even intend on vlogging today, but I don't know, I kind of really felt like it. That's that. I'm gonna get ready now. I'm gonna, gonna get back to you later. I think you can hear the moaning. The lawn. Okay. Sorry. You have me wrapped around your finger, and I can seem to leave. Baby, let me breathe. Please don't be naive. You got me staying away. So cute to me. Please be careful. Just want you here with me. But I don't mind if you don't want me to sleep tonight. Baby, I'll be alright. Just wanna be. I just walked here. I have so much time and I, I lost a little bit of a feeling for, for time. So I just leave the house when I feel like it. So it turns out I have a lot of time left before I grab dinner with my boyfriend. And so I just walked here to the water. It's so nice outside and it's so hot. I underestimated the weather. It's harder than I thought. My throat hurts. I think I'm just, I, I don't think I'm gonna get sick, but it feels like I'm gonna get sick. And I think that's only because a, a train is, passing right now. Where was I? Oh yeah, I don't think I'm getting sick, but I do think that I, my body is so exhausted that it kind of just needs a lot more rest. Oh, it's so awkward right now. Like I'm sitting next to the, like next to a little walking street and people keep walking by. But anyway, I feel like my body is so exhausted because the two nights before I left to my grandma, I barely slept. Truly, I think I slept like eight hours full for both nights together. And then at my grandma's, I didn't really sleep a lot either or not very well. Now I'm just trying to recover from like almost a week of no real sleep. Yeah, but I got a little snack. When Katrin and I used to have, like my friend Katrin, if you don't know her, I feel like she's always in a vlog, but we always have like one of those energy snack bowls when we have a final or before we have a final. And I saw this one the other day with salted pistachio and I really wanted to try it. There's so much going on right now, like so many sounds. I wanted to try it because I couldn't stop thinking about it. So yeah, that's what it looks like. And I think there's pistachio inside. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's good. Mm. When I went to Rome last year, I had just pistachio croissant every fucking day. It was so good. I wanted to buy like pistachio cream here, but that is so, that shit is expensive. I feel like one glass of pistachio cream is like 20 something euros. I'm not gonna pay that money for that. It's like so expensive. So all I want to do is get back to Rome. I think I always think that I'm like, precious, but I don't. I'm so scared of people talking to me. I'm sorry. I think that I always say I'm a cashew girl because I love cashews. If there's a nut mix, I will pick out the cashews and eat them all. Sorry. I'm secretly a little... I'm a, I'm a pistachio girl. They're just not very represented here. But I'm a pistachio girl at heart. And I think that makes a lot of sense. There's so many weird people here. 
But yeah, having a good day. Oh, while walking to get the film developed, I had a little realization and I almost cried. But basically, I thought to myself about happiness and I felt so happy, like walking in the sun, it was warm. I, I was at peace, I felt so happy. And if you don't know, I've been struggling with really bad depression for one and a half years, a little over one and a half years at this point, I think. I couldn't get out of this rut, like, and I'm a summer person, so if my summer sucks, it's bad because I'm not a winter person, so if my summer is bad, if I cannot enjoy the sun as much as I have to, I will fall even deeper into a hole. But basically, I today I felt like really good. A few days ago I also felt really good, so I was like, I am getting better. And then I realized that I'm just getting better because I'm not trying to be the happy person I was two years ago. I envied her because she was so at peace and so happy. And I kept trying to be her all this time, all these last few months. I kept trying to do the things she did. I randomly got the idea, the thought that I'm just not the person I was two years ago. I'm not gonna be her and she's not me. And, and it's like, fine. I don't know. I think I'm happy because I'm finally seeing who I am today and now and not trying to be someone two years ago because maybe she was happy two years ago, but she might not be today. That was my realization. I'm gonna sit here for a little longer and probably walk back and then have some real dinner. Okay, so I've made this recipe a million times at this point. I think it's one of my more beloved recipes. Like anytime I make it, it's gone within the day. Well, most people that eat it are my brother, my dad and my boyfriend. But they seem to like it, so... And I make it anytime there are overripe bananas like these right now. And I never shared this recipe. I, I think I shared it like on the screen once. I never talked about making it. Years ago, I tried to find a good banana. Years ago, when we were on, in lockdown. I think that was like three years ago, when the whole banana bread thing started. And I tried to find a good recipe online. And I'm so indecisive. If there are two five-star reviews on two different recipes, I will have a panic attack probably. So I mixed a few together. I fused them together with their ingredients ingredients and I've been making it ever since. I use three to four bananas. I think like three is good. I mush these together. I like to have some chunks in them. Am I turning into a food channel? What is this? Here I have my bananas and here's a hack for if your bananas are still a little too hard to mush. Put hot water, just a little hot water in there and it will be easier to mush. So hot water into the bowl and then you just mash it up okay next we need about 76 grams of butter i use margarine because i don't like butter but you can use butter i think that butter works as well i have to melt this down at least not not fully that it's pure liquid but just a little bit it's been about a minute in the microwave and there's still some chunks in there. Okay, now you need a bowl where you just mix a bunch of stuff together. By the way, this recipe is not vegan. I think I mentioned that the last time I made it. We need 100 grams of sugar and the margarine. It just warmed up. I don't know why I'm turning into a cooking channel now. I just feel like I don't have a lot to do. I have such a sore throat, I don't know why. I need to figure my life out again, now that I got out of routine for a few days and was literally away from society. Next, two eggs. Just crack them in there. One, two. I feel like what I learned by being away 
from society now in the last few days is that I sometimes feel like I'm an alien looking at people on this world. I don't realize that I'm living on the same earth as some of these people here. I, I cannot imagine, I have a very bad idea of like measurements and anything so there are so many people on this earth and everyone has their own life and their own thoughts and their own past and future and present. There's, there's so much and I feel like I'm living in such a small bubble sometimes. Next, the banana mixture we, we mash. Like, does it make sense to anyone? But sometimes I'm like, there's people in LA just, I don't know, going to Air One right now. How does not this feel real to me? Okay, actually the perfect example is TikTok. I open TikTok and those are all real people on there. When I watch little vlogs on TikTok or what I eat in a day, or so I don't know what, those are all little people on <laughs> this big world. And it, does, it makes me feel better when I realize how, how small we are, it does. I, I feel a lot better. There's a banana piece that doesn't want to get out. Okay. Flour and baking powder, 200 grams of flour and some baking powder. I think it's also so funny when I watch US recipes or something. Their baking powder comes in like cans. You have to use tablespoons of it. Here you just buy packages of baking powder and every package is about a tablespoon or two, I don't know. And you just always use like the whole package. You don't think about it. It's that, it was very confusing to me. I think I should preheat the oven. I realized that 180 is pretty good. So preheat your oven to 180 degrees, which is... I don't know how many Fahrenheit. You need a sprinkle of salt. And now you put in whatever toppings you want. I always put in chocolate. You can do nuts, you can do dried fruits. You can do it without anything. I did that once and it was pretty good. You can do fruits. I think like berries would be fun. I have some chocolates here. I just use whatever open chocolates we have. Okay, I'm gonna finish this now because I feel like I'm talking nonsense. I've been talking nonsense all this time. I'm gonna bake this for like, I would say 45 minutes and after 45 minutes you should check on it. That's it. Don't forget to grease your pan. I'm using this one. I don't think anyone wants to listen to me talk more nonsense now. We're gonna move on. Oh, oh, TD. It's 9, it's 9.40 right now. I'm on my way to have some breakfast with a friend. I haven't seen her in a, in a while, so I'm very excited for that. I feel like I'm sleeping better. Last night's sleep was the first like better one. Oh, and it's a long day. At least I'm wearing a cute outfit, I guess. A win is a win. better it's a lot later right now i think it's like 4 something p.m i came home and i fell asleep and napped which which i did plan then i woke up washed my hair i'm going to my brother's prom today i think i talked about it a couple of vlogs ago so i'm gonna put on a mask because it's been really hot these past two days and i my skin is just dehydrated also found ipads i never put this on 
never but i thought okay it's my brother's prom let's be a little fancy and be good to our skin maybe maybe this will be a new thing for me i don't have a mirror right now but okay these are by the way with, with hyaluronic acid passion fruit and caffeine it was really hard for me to decide which ones i want i didn't know there were so many different kinds okay so and i see people put like a mask on top of all of this so i'm gonna do that i just have an aqua mask just to hydrate my skin by the way my sore throat is still there is this video just about me having a sore throat um, by the way i had a really good time we shared two kinds of pancakes and they were both really good i love pancakes if you know me you know that there's a really high chance if i go get breakfast that i will get pancakes because i just can't make them myself okay we got this on. I should really study, but I'm not just not gonna study today. I didn't drink any coffee yet today because I'm trying not to crash. I need to do my nails, so... But I'm gonna do that later because I do have a good amount of time.